Welcome to the Pokemon Squad, guys. It is Christmas Day, and we pray that you are having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas with your families. But here at the Pokemon Squad, we just wanted to let you know the presents are wonderful. It's always great to spend time with family. But Christmas is about the birth of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the whole world. So I'm going to read the Christmas story for you. I'm reading this out of a, a beautiful Bible stories book that was given to us by our grandmother and it's been passed down for several years. So I hope that you will enjoy this reading. Uh, maybe you'll listen to it as you open presents or uh, before you share a meal. Uh, but this is the Christmas story. So let's begin. For many years, each young Jewish girl had hoped that she would get to be the mother of the new king. The one whom God chose was a pure and lovely girl named Mary. She lived in Nazareth, a small town of Galilee, with her mother and father, but she was engaged to be married to a fine man named Joseph. One day, when Mary was alone, an angel of God named Gabriel suddenly appeared before her. The angel told Mary that God was going to send her a son and that this child would be the Son of God. He would be the Savior that God had promised to the Jews, the one who would rule over a mighty kingdom. Mary was surprised when she heard of this and she was a little confused. How can I have a baby, she asked, when I am not married? Your child will not have an, an earthly father the angel explained. His father is the Most High God in heaven. How happy Mary was to know that she, of all Jewish women, had been chosen by God to be the mother of the Savior. Let it happen just as you have told me, she said softly to the angel. About the time that Mary's baby was ready to be born, the Roman emperor commanded that a count of everyone in the whole world be made. Already he was taking a lot of money from the people, but he wanted to make sure that he missed no one. Each person in Judea had to go to the town from which his family had come and see that the Roman officers there had his name on their list. Mary went with her husband Joseph to the little town of Bethlehem near Jerusalem. Joseph came from David's family and Bethlehem had been David's home. Now Bethlehem was just a small town and it was very crowded with the people who had come there to be listed. When Mary and Joseph arrived after their trip from Nazareth, they could not find a single place to stay. They looked and looked, but Mary was so tired that they finally stopped at a stable where horses and cows were kept to spend the night. During that night, Mary's baby came. She wrapped him up warmly and laid him to sleep in the only bed she could find, a manger or food box for the animals, which had been filled with soft hay. Yes, God's own son, the savior and king of all the world, had been born that night in a barn. But no one even knew it except Mary and Joseph, that is, no one on earth. However, angels knew it and were singing praises to the child king around God's throne. God sent one of them to earth to tell the news to some shepherds who were watching their sheep on the hills around Bethlehem. From out of the starry sky, the angel suddenly appeared, shining with the glory of the Lord. The shepherds were frightened by the angel, but the angel said, Behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all the people. For there is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The angel also told them that they could find the baby in Bethlehem in a stable. Then a great chorus of angels appeared, singing praises to God. The shepherds, filled with wonder by this wonderful message from the angels, hurried to Bethlehem to find the baby. Surely enough, they found him in the manger, just as they had been told. When they saw him, they realized that they were looking at the promised Son of God. 
and they bowed before the little baby. Then they went back to their sheep, praising God and telling everyone they met about the things which they had seen and heard. This is the story about the birth of Jesus Christ. And what a wonderful story it is. And families all around the world today are celebrating the birth of the Savior. And everyone, I pray and hope that you know Jesus today. Jesus came to live and die for our sins. Each and every one of us have done so many bad things. And one day, they'll have to be paid for. But Jesus came to pay for those bad things that we had done. And I pray today that you would give your life to Jesus on this Christmas morning or whenever you're watching this, because there's no better way. Jesus is the only way. We know it and we love Jesus, and you see it on our channel, hopefully every time that you watch, and we just pray you know Him as well. We pray you have a wonderful Christmas with your family. We love you so much, but more importantly, Jesus loves you. Have a Merry Christmas. Good night, good pulls, and God bless.